Hey guys, so I just got back from the gym doing my workout. I like to go at like three or four in the morning. And then when I get back on days that Adam works, he's getting up for work, getting ready and making his lunch. So a lot of you guys asked like what it's like when he packs his lunch for work. Cause that's like a realistic, like normal day for us. A lot of times I have like a cookie day. So I'm working on cookies all day, but today I'm off, I'm going to the city but he's on his way to work. So I wanted to quickly film his food that he's packing up. He packs it up all on his own and yeah, I'll kind of explain how he does that. But really quick, I'm starting my day with this. This is a one bar. Uh, this is six smart points on the blue plan. And these, I usually don't even really track. First of all, about the one bars, like they're giant and that's what I love about them. They're really big. And this is the peanut butter cup, my favorite flavor. It's really good. I'm gonna have this really quick with a big glass of water and then maybe some berries. Sometimes I have like berries and yogurt, but I'm out of yogurt right now. So that's my quick post-workout snack. But let's go ahead and look at what Adam's packing for lunch. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, so here is Adam's full day of eating at work that he packed himself. Good job. <laughs> so. My first meal is normally between like about 10 to 10.30, uh, depending on when I can take a break. So I would start with my banana, and then I normally do like one kind of chip type, so I, I'll probably do the salt and the vinegar potato. Okay, crisps. so these are WW, these are two smart points on the blue plan. Salt and vinegar potato crisps. And then I'll do my breakfast sandwich. Okay, so he likes to get these from Sam's Club. This is the turkey sausage, egg white, and cheese. And it's on an English muffin. And this is seven smart points? Mm -hmm. So this is seven smart points. And he just heats this up at work and adds like hot sauce to it. Yep. And then I'll either pick, and normally I'll pick between like one of these two things. So I'll probably go with the chomps. Okay, so this, okay, these are so good, guys. These are one smart point on blue. These are their newest flavor. They're pepperoni turkey sticks. One point, highly recommend. Go ahead. <laughs> and then the rest, I'll normally have that with like a, a liter water bottle. And then the rest of this I have together. Okay, so then the rest is pretty much as lunch, like you said. So these are zero smart points. We get the no sugar added applesauce. This is the mango peach. We like the berry ones as well. Yeah. We have zero smart points for grapes. Then I had made him some chicken salad that was in the fridge. So he used leftover chicken salad on some of the Ezekiel sesame bread. So how many points is this? So this sandwich right here is five points with the light mayo for the chicken salad. And then the bread is two points a slice. Yeah, so it's four points, four smart points for the bread. And then just one for the light mayo that I use. Because everything else in the chicken salad is zero smart points. Then we have some kettle corn popcorners that are four smart points for the whole bag. Fiber one chocolate brownie. These are two smart points for one. And then this is the Premier Protein Oats. This is the oats and maple flavor that he, you really like this one now. That's my favorite. Yeah, this is becoming his new favorite. And so he stops at Dunkin' on his way to work and just picks up like a cold brew coffee or Starbucks. And then he just pours this in later in the day uh, for a nice little energy boost. So this is 24 smart points worth of food. Adam gets 45 smart points in a day. So he still has a good amount when he comes home for dinner. He'll usually sometimes have a snack before dinner and then... Today, I think we're gonna do calzones. Mm. That's about it. And I'm gonna have Adam give us some updates while he's at work, and then I'll be filming my food the rest of the day while I'm home, and then I'm going downtown for a little bit. So that's Adam's food for the day. Okay, so I just showered, got ready, did some journaling, some catching up just on my Instagram and YouTube, and now it's time for me to drink my greens. It's weird not having Adam here to do this for the what I eat in a day, but hopefully his day is going well at work. So today I'm using the Bloom Greens and this is the new flavor coconut. It is so good. It's so refreshing. It's not like overwhelmingly coconut though. It is kind of sweet, but I love it. It's so good. So I've only had it like a couple days now, but I switched over to that. Even though I just opened a new mixed berry, I had to start using this one. It's like the perfect summer green. So mixing those up now. And then here are my greens. I guess cheers to you guys while Adam's at work. <laughs> so now I think I'm just gonna make a quick like breakfast sandwich before I pack up some food for the city. I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear and then we're probably gonna head out. We're just gonna be pretty much skating along the lakefront and just kind of exploring downtown for fun. I finally have a slower week with cookies, so it'll be nice to kind of enjoy myself and take some time off and relax, but also do some things I've been wanting to do. So I've been wanting to go to the city for a while now to do this and I'm really excited to skate around and just enjoy the weather. It's gonna be like 72 all day, so I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I don't know if I'm gonna be eating lunch downtown or if I'll just be like snacking and then come home and eat something, but I'm gonna pack enough so that it can take place in my lunch if we don't get food anywhere. So Okay, so for breakfast today, I'm just gonna make a quick breakfast sandwich. I'm using this Ezekiel sesame bread. It's two smart points each 
slice. This is a flourless uh, sprouted grain bread. I finally tried it for the first time and we really enjoy it actually. So I was very pleasantly surprised. It is a little expensive, but it's worth it to me. Two smart points a slice. I'm gonna scramble up two eggs with some of this black bean salad. I'm gonna use like one smart point worth of it. And then I'm also gonna heat up one of these country style sausages. So that will be my breakfast. I'll probably have some fruit with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and make that first and see how I'm feeling. So then after the eggs are made, I just assemble the sandwich. So I put the eggs on with the sausage. I spray it with a little olive oil spray and then I throw it back in the pan that I cook the eggs and I just like wipe it out. So I cook it for a few minutes like that. Okay, so here's my final breakfast sandwich and I'm just gonna sit outside and eat it with Mags. But this is seven smart point sandwich. So it's four smart points for the bread, two for the chicken sausage and then one for the bean salsa that I used, so nice and toasted up and yeah i'm excited i might throw some hot sauce on it as well so typically when i make my protein coffee at work i don't have a mixer like i do at home so i just drink about half of my duncan coffee and then i just take the protein put it on top It's a little after three o'clock, I'm having my second meal for the day. Um, I normally save my breakfast sandwich for right about now, but I had that earlier because I have Nikki's homemade chicken salad, so I had to save the best for last. Okay, so we've been skating around the city for like a good two hours now. So we decided to find a bench and I'm just having a salty peanut bear ball really quick. Um, I'm really not too hungry right now and we packed a few more snacks, but we'll probably have those when we get back to the car. So this will hold me over for now. Okay, so we just got done skating and we probably should have had a snack sooner, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having right now before we go home and have dinner. So, I'm just having some white cheddar popcorners that are four smart points, and then just a regular original turkey chomps, and then an apple. So it'll be a five smart point snack and then we'll go have dinner soon. So I just got home from skating. As you can see, I got some sun. We did not put, okay, anyway. <laughs> We just got back from skating. Adam just got back from work and we are hungry. So today we were gonna do calzones. I'm still gonna show you guys how I make my calzones with two ingredient dough. Really, it's pretty much the same thing. You just fill the dough and you form it into the shape. But I've had so many requests for the like Detroit style, which I didn't know was actually called Detroit style, but I looked it up and that's pretty much what we made. Detroit style two ingredient dough pizza. This stuff was like one of the best meals that we've ever made and it was so low smart point for what it was. Like it tasted like restaurant pizza. It was just one of my favorite dishes, like chewy but crispy on the ends. Like, yeah. So I got these dishes from Ikea and we tried to measure them. They're like five by seven and a half. So I told someone the wrong size. I think I said they were like seven by 11 because when I looked them up on the website, that was the only one I could find. And I thought they were the right ones, but they're not. So they're like, 
small small enough that we can make like an individual serving for each of us it's a big serving but we're hungry and it's still a little point with the two ingredient dough so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two ingredient dough i'm gonna show you guys how i do that really quickly i'm just gonna make one serving worth it is one and a third cup of all-purpose flour a half teaspoon of baking powder and then one cup of non-fat greek yogurt so that will be a 16 smart point serving i'm going to use the scale to weigh it out and divide our dough and then i spray it with a little olive oil flatten out the dough and then we're going to put all the toppings on so the toppings that we're using today i'm going to cut up some green bell pepper some yellow onion and then we're going to use some canned mushrooms and then we're going to use some turkey pepperoni and some trader joe's light mexican blend shredded cheese and then for the sauce, we're just gonna use some of this Trader Joe's tomato sauce, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix in some seasoning first and then just assemble the whole thing. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. First, I gotta make the dough and let it rise for five minutes and then we can make the pizzas. And I have the oven preheating at 425 right now and we're gonna bake these for like 25, 35 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. We're tired, I'm tired. Look at how tired I look. We had a long day at work. I had a long day skating. We're excited to eat some comfort food. This yes. is good stuff. So, so good. let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my two dishes here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray them each with some extra virgin olive oil spray. And then I have my dough. I have it on a scale, and it's 477 grams, so I'm just gonna divide them. Okay, so one portion is 238, 239, so they're even. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the dishes. And I like to just use gloves, which by the way, I know I'm missing a nail. I lost one in the city today and I need to fix it. But anyway, I just use my hands and you could use your bare hands. Like I said, because I have the fake nails, I like to wear gloves and I have a ton of gloves here. So all I did was after I sprayed it, I just pretty much pushed the dough out to the corners and I just used like the top of my hand like this. And I tried to make it a little thinner in the middle so that it's kind of a little bit more of like a crust around the ends, but it doesn't really have to be much. Now that that's divided, and like I said, that's eight smart points each, I'm just gonna use some of this tomato sauce that I made. It's zero smart points, and I don't really measure it out, I just kinda spread it out how much I think we want so this is like four tablespoons right now and that's a good amount and I just spread it to the corners and honestly it can even like go over the crust a little bit because it's all gonna get baked in there okay so I added another tablespoon to each so that's like five tablespoons in each so then I'm going to go ahead and do a layer of turkey pepperoni and 15 of these are one smart point so i'm gonna do like maybe 10 on this layer and then some on the top five on the top So because I'm using the Trader Joe's light cheese, it's actually lower in smart points, but I'm still gonna use a three smart point serving, which is like 35 grams. So I always weigh my cheese out. And 
and that is it. It's super, super simple. I have the oven set to 425. I'm gonna throw it in for 25 minutes and then check them out. I wanna say last time I made them, I actually broiled them for a couple minutes, but I'm gonna see how they are after 25. Okay, so this is the final pizza. So this entire thing, which I'm going to eat by myself, Adam has his own that he'll eat as well, is 12 smart points. So eight points for the two ingredient dough. It is one smart point for the turkey pepperoni and then three smart points for the cheese. The veggies are all zero and the sauce is zero. So this is our final pizza. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm so hungry right now. And I already have in mind what I'm having for dessert. Okay, so I don't know if I've shown these before, but I'm gonna make us a quick dessert. And these are Pizzelles. So I got these from Aldi and they're one smart point each. So we're each gonna have two. They kind of taste like a ice cream waffle cone. And what I do is I use some of this Blake Hill Naked Blueberry Spread and we're almost out of it. We need to get some more, but this is two smart points for the serving that I use. And I just spread a little bit onto the Pizzelles and then I top it with some fat-free ready whip. So that will be our dessert. Okay, so here is my dessert. So I made us each two of them and this will be one, two, three, four smart points. Mm -hmm. 